I moved abroad to be with partner and she had an affair. This is a bit of a story, so please bear with me as I believe context is important. I, 29M, moved to a foreign country to be with my longtime girlfriend, 32F, we were both always so eager to get out of our home country we have been dating for 5 years and living together for 4 and it had always been the main topic that we had been talking about ever since we had met, we had looked at immigration options multiple times. One day she received a job offer to move to Ireland, we both agreed this would be the best move for our future. Our relationship was so amazing and we were extremely happy back home, we never kept any secrets and our phones were always open to one another. I can tell you at that point we had only had two big arguments in our relationship, communication was open and good. Because I was the more financially stable one I paid for her immigration to Ireland, I've always assisted her in bad financial situations, I paid for her car on multiple occasion and during COVID I provided for our household while she was unable to work. She moved over in October 22nd, and we spoke every day that we were apart, she made a surprise visit for my birthday in January 23rd where she was acting very strange and different to her normal self, she sat me down one day and said I am having doubts in our relationship I was totally blindsided by the statement and the first thing I asked her was are you seeing someone else, she said to me she wasn't and that being alone for the past few months had changed her, needless to say we worked through it and in that week my job offer was finalized and I had applied for my working permit. Fast forward to April of 23 and I have sold everything I had owned, had a massive party with all my friends and family as I said goodbye to go and start my life abroad with the love of my life. I gave up everything I had to make this dream, our dream, a reality that we had speaking about ever since the day we met. Before I had arrived she had made a group of friends in the small town she was staying in, one person in particular, we will call him Dave, stood out among the rest, I am not a jealous guy and I have complete trust in my significant other and in fact I was happy she was making friends. Once I arrived she got us a small little apartment in the town next to where she was working, and so our new life had begun. As the weeks went on she was acting strange, whenever I would pick her phone up, to change a song, she would grab her phone from hands and be very aggressive about it too, I thought it was strange but didn't invest too much thought into it, she started making comments towards me about being boring, a person who had taken the biggest leap of their life, yeah boring, and one day whilst I was telling her about my interest, she told me that she didn't care about it, this was the third time we ever had a massive argument, I was in a foreign country with no one I knew and the only person there, didn't care about the things that made me happy. I was very hurt to say the least and by this point I was growing suspicious that something was up. One day when I got home from work, we sat down and I asked her about her day and she told me that she went for a hike, but it was only her and Dave, which to me seemed a little strange to go hiking with just another guy, so I questioned it and she got extremely angry and said why are you so jealous, me and Dave are best friends. I do not see him in that way she made me feel like such an asshole for bringing it up and I didn't question it again. A few weeks later I came home from work and she was sitting on the couch she immediately asked me to join her because she wanted to talk about something, when I sat down she looked at me and started crying she said I cheated on you. My heart sank when I heard those words, it was after you had arrived, only once, and it happened on a night out. I tried to get more information from her but she refused to tell me, I immediately accused Dave, she refused to admit it and said it wasn't him and even if it was she would not tell me, that evening we went to bed and it was horrible I felt like I was laying next to a stranger that I had just met. The next day at work I was completely out of it, I had asked my manager if I could take the rest of the day off and told her what was going on, she told me to take a few days off to clear my head, God bless her. I arrived home early, to my surprise that my GF wasn't home, this put my suspicions through the roof as we always tell each other where we are going so that if something happens we can be aware of where each person was at the time, I couldn't take it anymore and I opened the laptop that we shared went into her profile and opened up her messenger app, I found no messages with Dave as they had all been deleted, just a few calls between the two of them, 
but I noticed that she was texting her friend back home. She had confessed to her friend that she and Dave had been sleeping together before I had arrived in the country and it was ongoing while I was there, and that she had fallen involved with him. I read these texts and my heart just chattered. I became the lowest form of myself that I had ever been and I just started crying, I truly have never felt pain like that in years, the best way I can describe it is like losing a loved one, I was broken. I called her and told her I knew about the affair, she rushed home to speak to me. I asked her why, she couldn't tell me why. I asked her why didn't she come clean with me me back home before I uprooted my life, she said I didn't want to hurt you. She said she needed some time to think about everything and she left, over the next few days she would come over, as I was having mental breakdowns, to see if I was doing okay, at this point my life was over, I had given up everything for nothing. Later that week I asked her to come over so we could talk, we sat down and I told her that I was completely willing to compromise regarding the entire situation, I would sleep on the couch while we worked through this as I have sacrificed so much to be with her and I love her more than I love life itself I will give her the space that she needs to heal and get clarity, and she was very on board with this idea, however the only thing I ask of her is that Dave is not a part of her life anymore. Numbers are deleted and that person is out of your life. It's me, a person that has given her everything his has, that has been there when she was at her lowest and uplifted her, a person that pushed her to get her qualification, that stood by her in hardship and tragedy and made our dreams come true or him man she has known for a few months who is seizing the opportunity to have a F buddy, and has a notorious reputation for being one. And she looked me dead in the eye and said she can't make that choice. So we ended it, God knows how this has broken me as a person. Needless to say she has received a lot of negative feedback from not only her friends and family back home but from everyone who knows us, even the local people in the town have ostracized her for what she had done, my landlord even said to me that he would outright refuse to rent our place to her if she were to stay and I had to leave, but that's a whole other story of the community I live in. This happened two months ago and we have spoken since then, she has expressed recently how deeply regretful she is of what she had done and how sorry she is for everything, how we both wish we could have our old lives back and just be happy again like we were, she has said she is mentally in the wrong space and she isn't seeing anyone and she needs to focus on herself. We can't get back together because my friends and family hate her for what she has done. But I love her, I miss her, she is the only person I know here, that knows me. I have never been so alone in my life, and I'm afraid. I feel no one has been in this situation before and the advice comes from people who have a support system to help them, I don't. Do I forgive her, make it work again? Take the heat from everyone in my life and seize my happiness with her, this entire future was planned with her in mind, we all make mistakes, should the repercussions be detrimental to our happiness? Or do I move on? And if so how? How do you move on when your entire world has been shattered into a million pieces? Comment. I am 100% hijacking the top comment to say I'm in exactly the same situation as you right now bud. And I'm a few months into this and still navigating how the fuck to bring my life back together. I could not deal with the pain of it all and I had only changed jobs and moved for her. I could not focus at my new job after all of it and constantly needed time off to just, sulk. Sit with depression. It affected me greatly to the point I was fired last week. I have no idea where to go from here. Honestly. So I get it, I really do. If you just need to talk. I'm not saying I have any answers for you. But I wouldn't mind if you wanted to message me and talk about it. At least you know you're not alone in what you're going through right now. Take care man and stay strong, keep your head up, and try to move on. Because really, that's the only self-respecting choice left at this point. And I'm so sorry to have to say that. I really am. You said you miss her. You miss who you thought she was, the person she is now essentially murdered the woman you knew and replaced her with the villain she is now. You will never ever forget her betrayal and if you stay with her it will eat at you every minute of every day. 
you will never trust her like you did and will question every time she works overtime, every time she's gone longer than she should. Remember, she repeatedly lied directly to your face and had no problem doing it. Move on and don't look back. Up, you gave her the opportunity to work through things with you, your only stylation was for her to cut ties with Dave, and she refused. She took allow the support, all of the love, all of the devotion, all of the commitment you had shown her over years, wadded it up and threw it in the trash can for a guy she was sleeping with before and after you sacrificed everything to be with her. She fell in love with this guy, and flushed your five-year relationship down the toilet without a second thought. You say you've been in contact with her. What? So she can take her heel and grind it in your face even harder? Has she said she wants to get back with you, or is this just your wishful thinking? What happened to her and Dave? She cheated on you, lied to you for months, and would still be lying if you hadn't have found her messages with her friend. Do not consider taking her back, even if she begs you. You can never trust her. She made her bed, let her lie in it. You need to go no contact with her, and return to your home country with friends and family who love and support you. She does not love you, and never did. Otherwise she could have never done what she did to you.